Hey, you all. So let's talk about why new home builders usually offer incentives to the first 10 or 20, however many uh, buyers that come to the community first, because usually what happens is the lesser lots are sold first for less. And then as you continue to build throughout the community and at the end, you're finding that the more premium lots are worth more. So they're basically front loading the deal. You have all the buyers come in. Everyone is locked in. You're giving your earnest money deposit, your down payment, which could be anywhere from say, let's just say five to 10%, um, maybe even a little lower, but depending on the builder, you're putting that down, you're locking yourself in. Usually if you decide that you don't want the home later on, you're going to walk away, you're going to lose that deposit because that's a home that could have gone to someone else. So you're usually not going to get your deposit back. And front loading the deal is also satisfying the mortgage companies. Sometimes you'll see that there's just one mortgage company. Sometimes there could be two or three. You also want to make sure that you ask if you can shop your own lender. Nine times out of 10, what I usually see is that the builder is offering incentives if you go with their lender. Usually the builder has a vested interest in the lender. And if you use that lender, then you get the incentives, you get the closing help, you get the finished rec room in the basement. But there are some times when you will see that they're offering several different uh, lending companies that you can go with. And if you see a lending company that you know a lender, you personally know a lender is with that same company, it doesn't hurt to ask, hey, you know, I've been working with this lender before and then I decided to do new construction. Would you still honor the incentives if I go with this lender, especially if it's a lender that's within one of the mortgage companies that the builder is already using. It never hurts to ask. You always want to shop your loan because you never know. Not every mortgage company is offering the same product. So you want to make sure that you at least ask, can you shop your loan? Will they still give you the incentives if you use your own lender? Now, sometimes yes, and sometimes no. I've seen it work both ways. Everything is in favor of the builder. You're buying their product. You're signing their contracts. You're using their lenders. You are working with their reps. That's right, their reps. They are the reps for the builder. They do not represent you. I am not distracted by all of the shiny objects. I am specifically thinking about the business side of it, what goes on behind the scenes. You want to make sure you have a real estate agent with you, especially if you're relocating and you're new to the area. You don't know anything about the DMV. All you know is that you have to be here. Maybe you're PCSing in. Maybe you're relocating because of a school district, whatever it is. You want to make sure that you're working with a local agent who knows the area. Oftentimes, the reps in the new home builds may not have any firsthand knowledge of the area that they're working. They're just there to sell the community. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they grew up there, that they know the community, they're familiar with it. I'm not saying that it's bad to be one of the first buyers to buy into a new community. I'm just saying, know what you're signing on for. Real estate is one of the biggest investments, if not the biggest investment that you'll ever make in your lifetime. And you need to be knowledgeable. That's all I have for today. Hope you have a great week. Bye.